Hey everyone, this is Ross, and uh, today we're going to talk a little about plant tags, tree tags, and one way that I'm going to be using them this year. I think this is a really nice method. My buddy Mario in Connecticut turned me on to this method. If you want to go see that video of the whole visit to his property and some of the really interesting things that he showed me, like these tree tags, you can go back and watch that. What he suggests is that you get some vinyl blinds from uh, like a hardware store. You don't have to break the bank, right? They don't have to be fancy. They don't have to have particular designs. I think one side would be cool if it was really shiny. That way when they're kind of blowing in the wind, they would discourage some birds. But for the most part, you know, it's not really necessary. Um, just grab yourself. You know, these cost me about 10 bucks at Home Depot. I think there's nine of them that I bought, and they're eight feet long. And when you chop them up with this heavy-duty slicer here, you get about uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 220, I think, is what this is going to come out to. So 10 bucks for 220 plant tags, that's not bad, right? I can also chop these up further and cut them in half this way. You know, these are 3 inches by 3 inches, really great tag for um, writing finer details. So I'm going to be taking a lot of notes this year. Um, we're really going to be doing that, similar to how Mario does it. He keeps track of the Breba information on one side and then the main crop information on one side for things like figs. And if you really wanted to take, you know, growing different fruits seriously or more seriously, you know, this is one way to do it. And at the end of the season, you write all your information down here, you take off those tags, bring them in, and you can then put all that data into a spreadsheet and take it from there. You know, so this is one way of doing it. I think is really worthwhile. Um, the way that he is marking these is actually with pencil, and he says that it still hasn't worn off. I mean, since he's done this, it hasn't worn off. So it certainly lasts the length of a season, no problem. It probably lasts even longer than that. How long, I'm not entirely sure, but that's really the big issue with a lot of these plant tags is that the tag itself doesn't last very long or the marking on the tag doesn't last very long. So with this, I think it's pretty uh, a pretty nice way to keep track of all this interesting things. What we could do is actually cut this tag in half even further. I think I mentioned that, but we can cut that in half and use that for our annuals. A lot of my annuals are gonna be started here indoors from seed in really only a couple weeks here. And we're gonna use these, I think, these plant tags here cut them in half even further to uh, to get ourselves like you know just more tags something that's gonna be you know not necessarily needs to last as long because they're annuals right these tags here has the variety name on it this certainly will need to be um, something that lasts a bit longer but if it's something that's gonna be used as notes or something that's just gonna be labeling our annuals it doesn't need to last uh, more than a year so that's something we're going to be doing this year and I thought I'd share it with you guys and talk about these little things here and how I'm going to be doing this. I think the next step at this point for me is to get a hole punch and punch a hole in this and then that way you can hang it from the tree. I think I'll use um, probably rubber tree tube that seems to work really well. It's more of a, actually it's more of a plastic um, slash rubber. I think there maybe is some rubber in there. but point is it should last quite a bit as well and this is just a really affordable way to do this i think but anyway guys uh thank you so much for watching this one again if you want to see more from mario um on his property and kind of things that we talked about go back and watch that video i think it was filmed only a week ago um you know and if you enjoyed this one follow me on facebook instagram or twitter we have all kinds of things like this that we don't post in video format that we talk about there so it's just the same name as my youtube channel at ross ratty and uh, i'll catch y'all later all right take care